Hey guys, it's Robin, our Silent Crafts, and welcome to my craft room. This video is going to give you the supplies and the information you're going to need to participate in tomorrow's live stream. On tomorrow, December 5th at noon, Eastern Standard Time, my time here in Florida, we're going to go ahead and make some Christmas stockings. Tis the season, right? There are so many different ways to make Christmas stockings. I'm going to put some links down below to different blog posts, maybe to different Google searches or whatever, where you can find a stocking patterns. You can just simply take one of the ones you already have. I have a couple of store-bought ones from my family, and you can trace around them to get your stocking design. Stocking designs, you see this one has a little bit of a toe. This one has more of the shape. So you can use a variety of shapes and different sizes and make any type of stocking you wish. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make a small one like this just because it saves a lot of time than making the big one. We're going to make one that is scrappy. It's basically going to be a quilt as you go with a one fabric on the back, but you could make it scrappy all the way around. We're going to put a cuff on it and we're going to have a hanger. I'm also gonna give you a quick idea on how to just make it with two separate fabrics like this. This one has a line stocking. There is no batting, no interfacing. Not so this stocking just has the red striped gingham plaid, whichever it is on the front and the back, and then it has a simple white lining. As you can see, there's nothing to it. It's nice and soft. When I, all of us kids started having kids of our own, my parents had stockings that they kept at their house and then stockings we had at home. So when the kids go over on Christmas Eve, they'd have a stocking at grandma and grandpa's house and they were usually just something simple like this. Actually, they were store bought. So they were just basic, simple stockings with nothing but a piece of fabrics on the outside and the lining on the inside. And then at home, we had more of the fancier stockings. I mentioned in a previous video that I liked to make the felt ones with all the little sequins and beads and stuff on it. And here is two of them. I have one for Robert and one for Robbie. So this is for Robert Jr. and this is for Robert the Third. They are both equally fun to do. This one's great because it has different it has batty, uh, stuffing inside of it. So it's more of a 3D one with the embroidery and all of your special beads and everything. And this one has a little bit of embroidery that you can see, but all the beads and sequins. Now we won't be making these on tomorrow because these take a very long time to make, but they are, once again, they're just two pieces of felt. They came in a kit from the craft store. So your stockings can be anything. They can be super simple, all the way to something complex. Or you can have something in between. These are English paper piece hexagons that I hand stitched together and then I quilted. I just have a plain fabric on the back, but it is lined and there is batting inside the front of the stocking. So I hope you can join me tomorrow and sew a couple stockings for the upcoming holiday season. Even if you don't want to make a full size stocking, and you don't have any need for them. I'm going to put a couple links down below. I have a stocking where you can make a little tiny ornament. And I also have a pattern so that you can make a zipper pouch. So it's a stocking with a zipper on it so that you can go ahead and tuck little gift cards or money in it. But we're going to be making these tomorrow. So you need some Christmassy type fabric or whatever color you want. You can have it pink and purple if you want. You're going to need some fabric for the lining, fabric for the back, fabric for the cuff, the little hang tie, and then we're gonna, like I said, I'm gonna put scraps on mine also, and we're just gonna quilt as you go and stitch them down onto batting. If you don't have batting, you can use some felt, you can use some type of, a, you can even use like a, a fleece product, any type of the fleeces you can pick up at Joann's and stuff, and any type of batting that you might have, whether you enjoy using the polyester, the bamboo, or the cotton like I like to use. I'll show you a quick and easy way to stitch just the two fabric stocking together so that you don't have to worry about. It's a really simple way to do it. It's a quick stitch and turn method so you don't have to worry about having everything nice and even on the top. It all comes out perfectly in the end. And then we're going to also make some of these little ones so I can show you how to add a cuff onto them just to give it that little bit of extra. So if you wanted to put someone's name on it, you can use those vinyls that you can iron on or you can embroider it on. They have different stickers and felt press on things you can pick up at the craft store. So I hope you can join me tomorrow for some sewing fun. We're going to do Christmas stockings. I 
can't play music in the background, but when you guys are sewing at home, you can go ahead and put your Christmas carols on and listen to the music while I chatter away. Make friends and chat over on the side in the little chat box. Everyone's always got some type of fun conversation going on, maybe talking about what they're going to be making for the holiday or what they're drinking at the moment. If you have some candy canes, peppermint candy cane and hot cocoa is always nice this time of year. So I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Saturday, December 5th at noon Eastern Standard Time, my time here in Florida. Bye!